so i will be making mashed potatoes like the title suggests and there are two ways to start this off if you're using very clean potatoes these are irish potatoes you can just boil them with a pinch of salt directly without peeling them but that won't happen because you see this this is a lot of soil a lot of washing a lot of that is required and i feel like the the best way is obviously to peel them so i will peel mine and i'll see you then our potatoes are okay peeled i there is a purple situation going on here i have no idea what happens sometimes i see that and i cook them and they turn to be fine so i i hope they will be fine because i'm not sure about this though this one could be taken off yeah but i do very minimal viazi in my my recipes so bear with me i am sure they will be fine and tell me what you think the purple thing is so meanwhile what we are going to do is simple we are going to put some salt to start prepping our potatoes for mashed potato dinner so water and then we cook them until they are soft i don't know why my lights are dim something must be happening but anyway what i want to show you is this for you to know whether it has cooked completely put a fork or a knife a bread knife yeah, remember for the cutting knives you will be making them blunt so if it goes through without any difficulty then you're good the reason why it is creamy uh mashed potato creamy garlic mashed potato thank you yeah you got it well done creamy garlic mashed potato is because we are going to use our garlic so means your garlic that is like three cloves you don't want a lot and then you add in your melted butter or another oil that you use and you put this you cook it for like 30 seconds or a minute don't let it to burn don't let it to brown so that is our garlic butter you see it's not so cooked and it is not badly off another thing i want to talk about is this the the stock can i call it the potato stock the water that remains when you cook your your potatoes you can keep it if you like your mashed potatoes more fluidy you can keep on adding this instead of adding fresh ones i think that would be a good idea so we are going to put in our our potatoes in the pot you see my purple potatoes they are weird mashed potato should be white why are you doing this to my life anyway it's all going to the stomach so we are going to put our white pepper and some bio cream cooking any cooking cream that you use and so next is obviously to mash So that is our mashed potatoes, add in the cream, like two spoons, like three spoons, like you feel it's enough, not too much. Mm -hmm. And then we are going to mix everything.
So uh, this is our fish. This is a red snapper fillet. So in our plate, we are going to put some just a bowl, pick a bowl where you're going to mix what goes to the fish, and that is our black pepper. We are going to use some mustard. My estimation should be just right. <laughs> going to use some oregano and some parsley kind of like i was generous there right? so we are going to mix our dry ingredients Give them a good mixing, and then we are going to add our fish sauce. Remember, fish sauce is not different from the the basics you consider when you're using soy sauce. It has a lot of salt, so you need to use it in moderation so at this point you can use a lime a lemon uh but because i don't have that and this i am pre uh, preparing earlier so that i can let it stay overnight you can let it stay overnight or you can give it a few hours to just uh be okay so what we'll do is i will add my apple cider vinegar the first time I tried this was because I didn't have a lemon and or the lime and it was at night again because that is ideally when uh, the uh, preparation of these things happen so that they can sit overnight for you to use the cooling. So after I used it, I realized it had some very rich taste and I decided but that would be the way I would be making my my fish fillets. So we are going to add in our butter. Oops, sorry. Going to add in some butter. So that is it. You can use olive oil. You can use coconut oil but the butter will give it very rich taste and it will be very very good and yummy so next we yeah you can if you buy this kind of things the ranch sauce the dressings all those if you buy the commercial ones it's okay just go ahead and and put your stuff and thank you for being here to my perfect kitchen because i just uh, realized i forgot garlic and ginger and this can't go on without the two i am back with my garlic ginger means yes my ginger root and my garlic just means them so and I am glad I remembered in good time because you know that is what happens. Yeah, the reality on the ground. So this is easy. This is good. This is all we want. So next we are going to attend to our fillet. Already uh, sliced. So we are going to sprinkle some salt all over just a little okay not so much and then we are going to transfer it here and still we are going to so we we pick it like this okay we are going to pick it like this and then on the pan we are going to turn it so we turn it to the other side because we are going to sprinkle the salt to the other side please note if you don't have this kind of a pan uh 
a glass kind of use just the ordinary metal uh, baking pan and line it with some foil paper which again is not a must i have done all that without either those things so use that uh, that ordinary baking tin the metallic one you know the black one that we roast everything on it and line it if you don't have a foil paper just fine just make sure you oil your, your pan but the the foil should uh, ensure that the juices from what you're making stays intact and that it won't be so like dry so next we are going to use our homemade fish would i should i call it fish sauce or what should i call it and we are going to use this we are going to put it on top of our fish so okay like that and then you spread everything you can put either sides you turn but i don't do that and it turns to be just fine so just do like that because some spills on the side and because of the butter which is already full of flavor because of everything that we added you will realize that everything is going to be very very tasty so you don't have to worry about the other side after all we we might just turn them at some point if you want them to like uh brown either side but usually i i'll just put it like this and cook everything remember that the other side is already salted so the butter will flow underneath the fillets and they will cook so well so to preserve this for the whole night you can uh, put a film paper or a lid for this kind of pan if you have mine don't have the 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 lids so i usually cover with film paper you can refrigerate again if you don't have a refrigerator remember we put some black pepper and lime for my case i put apple cider vinegar that will preserve your fish fillet so you can put a, a cover a lid and then just let it sit on the counter for the night it will be just fine this is the following day after letting your fish sit overnight see what i was telling you you don't worry you don't have to worry about the flavors you can turn them at this point or just uh, get some of these things and you try to lift and uh replace everything where it's supposed to be and it's not a must so we are going to put it in the oven So uh, for the veggie part, we are going to be making our cauliflower just washed and brushed like this. Kuzikata too. And when you cutting easy vitu, you make sure you check everywhere because there are cases where you find a lot of uh, those small, small insects trapped in between the into quartz branches. So make sure you check on them very well and then you prepare them wash them so we are going to boil them for like two minutes in some salty water so you just uh put kidogo salt koyomaji and bring them to a boil 
So friends, our cauliflower is uh, already boiled for two minutes. Don't overcook it. Uh, now we are going to put our olive oil, black pepper, and what else? What else did I forget? And 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 soy sauce. Okay, all right. But taste. Make sure that the salt is not uh, enough because if it's enough, then you don't have to add your soy sauce. But if you like soy sauce, you should be cooking with uh, very very little salt at first, so that you can have that moment where you add in your soy sauce. A star mix everything together you can choose either to uh, put them for a minute to cook which I don't because this is just perfect you want that uh, rich flavor of the olive oil to be just how it's supposed to be so our vegetables are ready just waiting for you to have a bite.